I'm going to demonstrate how to light up those as media SATA ports and real techniques. So if we look at my ESXi 60, generally available version of the hypervisor, we'll see I only uh, have a couple of my hard drives visible at the moment. Uh, it's kind of annoying. If you look at storage adapters, the AS Media brand ones are missing, but the Cougar Point Intel ones are showing. How about over at networking? Just uh, under networking adapters, only Intel brand, i350, not the uh, Realtek on the motherboard. So it's pretty simple to fix this. Check this out. Fire putty. And simply cut and paste those commands in one at a time. That's how crazy easy this is. Copy. Right click over here to paste it. Hit enter. Next. Now if you can do four lines at once, but it gets weird to read. I, oops. So I clicked by accident in the wrong place. And I lost the clipboard. Let's try that again. Copy. Paste by right clicking and hitting enter. Okay, that one doesn't echo anything, and that's normal. This one takes a little longer. It's got to actually pull some stuff down from the internet. Some stuff. Um, the real tech drivers, right? Andreas Peets actually published something new today about real tech drivers. Um, so keep watching for information uh, developing on any changes and recommendations. I guess there's some blacklisting going on of certain uh, devices for people that upgrade. In this case, I did a fresh install of ESXi 6.0. I should point that out. So we simply wait for that command to finish. Got one more to put in the clipboard here. Okay, finished. Okay, that's it. Success. Now, what else is there to think about? Well, if you have any VMs running, like vCenter in my case, yeah, you'd want to shut that down and reboot or put it in maintenance mode. So, Since I'm headed for a reboot anyway, this is a good time to point to the SXI host and go to Virtual Machine Startup and Shutdown Properties and change this. That's what I do. I want a graceful shutdown. So I want to tell it to run vCenter automatically when I reboot the CSXI host. Simply right-click ESXi to see the effects of a reboot of the host. Initiate guest shutdown, just like we asked it to do. And there it goes. Now, I actually have a way to show you ESXi host rebooting. So I'll leave that on the screen here. Think of it as a keyboard video mouse uh, video recorder. Basically over IP, I'm able to get VGA output from the server recorded to video. So you can see it, including throughout the reboot process, which I'm now going to speed up dramatically. Okay, so the server is now showing its bias boot screen, enumerating the various drives it finds. You can see an OCZ Vertex and, of course, Air Force GT. You could not see that before, right? You could see the Intel, but not the AS Media. So I intentionally, the AS Media is a little slower, so I intentionally put the SSD that's only SATA 2 speeds on there. And I save the Primo Intel SATA 3 ports report for the high-end 256 gig SSD. 
It's also two terabyte, sorry, a four terabyte and a six terabyte on there too. So we're watching the hypervisor come up. And if we watch carefully, we might see a difference in the driver set because of what we just added, especially the real tech. Speeding up the video now. And view center's coming up. Configuration, storage. Yay, more drives. That's a good sign. How about we look at storage adapters? And there you go. Four ASM1062 ports. And finally, network adapters. There's our real techniques. So there you have it. It's that easy. Thank you for watching. And thank you for visiting tinkertry.com. Hopefully you found this video helpful.